Okay, in this lesson, I want to talk about a little more about import and export in a software. If I want to create a new project, you can go in here. If you want to open or open recent, save or save as. Uh, and you can, and you know the difference between save and uh, increment, uh, then save. It means uh, save as it saves on a file you save, in incremental save. It save, for example, file S2, S1, S3, new save. And uh, most important and interesting thing is pack. If you want to <coughs> export your project and give it to your friend or share it, uh, of course, you use a lot of texture, a lot of HDR from, for example, HDR or your folder in PC, texture folder in PC. And uh, when you export it, and if the texture does not include your uh, export, when your friend open it in his, in his PC, all of the texture were missed and they can't and it's uh, all of the texture and material black so if you want to ensure that all of your scene with everything in it exported you have to export pack when you select a pack as you can see you can export a base file based on a sim it means in sim lab of course we need a sim lab and of course include hdri and uh, backplate every texture that you use and hit ok and it gives you a zip file contain uh, uh, alt file hit ok and a name the true the name for that as a, as you can see this is our file that's uh, packed as you can see all of the background texture anything that's used in the project include the seam and its preview will be packed it's interesting so use it if you want to export it import and export or export selection you can I explained that PDF and you can share your cloud. Uh, if you go into the SimLab soft, you can export a lot of kind of object and of course import a lot of other files with a lot of software. And, and it has, this software has direct connect plugin for a lot of cat software or as you can see, lots of cat software. Revit, Maya, or Pro Polygon software, 3D Max. It's interesting. You can direct connect with, for example, the most important is Rhino, direct connect to the Rhino. You can directly send your model that you model in Rhino, Revit, directly into SimLab Composer without any worry about Im importing, exporting, choosing the <clears throat> file format. It, this software is interesting. Another interesting export is here. Use it. It's very nice. Uh, for example, you can you can use you can export all of this file as an exe file. You learn if you want to. For example, as you can see, we have an uh, this file as a VR viewer. If you look at it, if you want to share this VR file to others, okay you have to export it from here vr package file you can export it if you want to export it you have to uh, choose a title for that thumbnail for that click on it and you can uh, choose a thumbnail for that you can your name and description and if you want to you can um, enable vr catalog material environment and i explained them before all the modes and saving <clears throat> and hit ok and the software gives you a, a VR package that um, export all of the VR and you can simply open it in for example VR uh, viewer okay and you can download your phone and share your VR to your friends okay you can download VR viewer it's free or you can connect it to your sign into piece uh, to your uh, accounting uh, sim labs off and here you can simply add add and address your file and here here simply address your file and it open as you can see this is a timeline for that and anything that you can and you can open it click ok and it's open
and you can uh, share your model and it's uploading to your account to the cloud and you can share it to the anyone that you want it's very easy okay waiting okay and your model is ready here you can see it and uh, click on desktop and see your vr scene okay as you can see this is time consuming and it has a lot of problem and you have to need install vr viewer another interesting export is exe file okay i prepare a scene a new scene for example i'll prepare this scene and i want to give this model to my friend and rotate it by itself and don't use any special software just double click and open it here you can first go to environment and change its settings i want uh, if you want to for exe file and you want to uh, click and drag and rotate drag visualization you have to first set up it as a mechanical it's very important and sun and everything is nice and simply click and uh, export it as an exe file like before you have to change the title uh, add a thumbnail for that and you can uh, ex export it and everything is done and interesting this is our exe file as you can see it's an application you don't need to upload anywhere open any software just double click it and view in a cm viewer yes extract it and automatically open the vr viewer for you and you can use it as a visualization and uh, change what happened because what happened because of this because we don't uh, change uh we have to go exactly this object to the center as you can see it's not exactly at the center of the uh, software it has to be exactly at the center of the software and we have to go to the environment in the vr in the background not from the environment solid color and okay hdri sun and everything is nice and export it again export as an exe file rr as you can see this is an exe file it's interesting that's okay you can turn off all catalog change the material light anything you want to hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release